Okay, so after that video, the last one with the glass fuses, Off Grid in the City made a post on secondlifestorage.com, the community forum. Um, and I think one or two people made reference on YouTube as well to wanting me to test these cells and, and perhaps even a little bit of a further inspection on them. Now, I think it's madness going this deep into it, but hey, it's lockdown day. I have nothing to do, so I might as well try, you know, make the community smarter. Now, one of the questions, look, we're not going to worry about this close-up shot of these cells, right? But that one's well attached. That one's well attached. And then that Sanyo. Focus, youth, AVE. Oh yeah, that one. Well attached. This one up here. Don't know what it is, but it's well attached on both ends. Well soldered to the bus bar. And then we've got this Sanyo. Oh look, it looks crap, but you know, you don't do close-ups on YouTube for a reason. That one. There was one more. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's it. Okay, so they're the five cells. So let's pop them off and see if we can do another test. Another comment was on this device here. Yesterday was the first time I've used it. I haven't used it again since. Let's pop that off and take a look. And just get the hacko this time. Just because it heats up nice and quick. No thermal mass. Come on, 400. There we go. So they're the five fuses that did that failed. And looking at some of these here, I don't know if you can see me, but some of these here had blown fuses last time, including that one, that one, indeed that one did. So there's only one there that didn't have a blown fuse on that side, but it had a blown fuse on this side when I did it. Uh, is that a black mark? I don't know if that's flux or a black mark. But it does look like there's no consistency between which cells it is. So let's test those fuses. Turn that off. Radio. So cell number one. Continuity. Well, we're expecting this, but I thought I'd test it, test it anyway. Interesting, that one does not have continuity. That one does, and that one does. I can clearly see that one's blowing now. I don't know whether that's the heat or maybe it was short circuited. So we'll take that out of the loop and say four. Okay. Grab this little device. Now, someone said you can set the amps by shorting it out before you do anything. Um, that's interesting. We'll just go straight to two amps. Since I believe these are two amp rated fuses and we're at 4.2 volts. So, let's see if I can get this in shot. I don't even see if, couldn't even see if that one blew. Where are you? If 
Oh, look over here. Okay, so that one blew at two amps. Next one. The speculation of people is gonna go crazy. Come on, Pete. I put zero thought into this video, just in case you were concerned or wanted to know. So those amps jumped up ever so slightly and that one blew. I saw that one that time. The third one, no, uh, technically this is the third one, I guess. That one blew as well. If anybody was interested, I have a whole heap of fuses for sale. They seem to be faulty. And that one blew as well. So they blew under two amp load. So look, there's another eight minutes of your life gone. But it might help somebody draw some more conclusions on what we should and shouldn't be doing well there you go achievers i don't know what you're gonna get from that but they all blew so it wasn't the the fuses that were the problem on the battery and as you can see they're all attached very very well so we've got another mystery wrapped in a quandary thank you very much for tuning in and i'll see if i can fit my thumbs down here i'll see you on the next one